to sure have a lot of faith in this pony. Remember, it's never good to get attached or you'll hurt yourself in the end. Never again. No more companions, no more anything. I don't need anyone. Alert. Uh, uh, Alert. Unknown weapon detected. Security playback activated. Replaying last 15 minutes. Ha! <laughs> it's been years since I've had this much fun. Previous subjects never were much of a challenge. I'll take that as a compliment, though this isn't a challenge at all. Still haven't even broken a sweat. You talk a big game for such a little pony. You know what they say, the bigger, uh, big things come in small packages. You have some balls for a soon-to-be gelding. I've been toying with you while my men have moved in to kill you. What's the matter, little pony? Afraid of a little gunfire? Even after that impressive light show of yours? Mm. Such an impressive specimen. It will be a delight to add your DNA to ours. Having troops with your power will make the next phase of our plan easier. Oh, since so Simon, uh, I am locked down, cat a robber in. Where's the spirit I saw earlier, pinned down by only two of my guards? Tell me about it. Just pinned down by three DNA dumpsters. Garbage or not, we can still extract DNA out of mulch. You know, it's been a while since we had any real meat. After I extract what I want from you, what do you prefer? Mm. Kabao? Mm. Kabao uh, or deli sliced? I like shawarma. I'm a big fan of Hachi's Parmentier with a creme brulee for afters. Braise him with wine. <laughs> No, I oh, cool. that's another Centaurian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think oh, okay, that's so... that's you. That's the master. No, no, that's another. That's the other Centaurian. Oh, because well, it shows a little master bubble right near to it. Oh, huh? No. It says, "Of course you'd go for expensive fur for shit. We ain't had a proper drink in ages." Recent. I think you're missing something. I think you skipped one. Huh? There's the I prefer a buff on Pomum de Tari. Oh. I missed something. Eh. I I prefer buff on pom terre. That was uncalled for. He even offered to down you with dessert. I just thought I'd remind you that we're kind of Fighting. Can't help it if he had no taste. Enough of that. Kill him! And let me get what I need from him. Then you can do whatever with the remains. With his DNA taking those alicorns on Equus, we'll be like taking candy from a foal. Oh shit. Thum 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 thum. Thum thum thum. Thum 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 thum. Tell me, uh, tell me, when threatening God's children to his face, did you not expect punishments? Dude. Look, uh, we can make a deal. You let me live in the hell. Too late for that. You sealed your fate when you threatened my girls. <laughs> your magic won't save you now. You had your chance that at that earlier. I may as well return this. <laughs> Oh, 
five, four, three, two, one. Uh, did this one already have a voice for him? Uh, was that the cloud guy? I think I was just... No, yeah. uh, that... Oh, the, okay, think... we moved to... Okay, moving to this... Okay, the next one. No turning back now. What the, the whole fleet vanished? That's impossible. Oh crap, that means I'm heading straight for Mangala. What a serious do in a situation like this. Come on, you stupid machine. Turn! What the... Oh, okay. Hello, sorry. Coordinates were slightly off. I'm the doctor and this is my companion, Derby. Also, uh, mind explaining why we're creeding towards a defenseless colony planet? Doctor! Derby! There are friendly in the area. You should pull up on his own attack. They are evacuating, but the captain is pulling some kind of suicide counterattack. That would be a good time for the, some daring heroics. Okay, then. Hey, Master. Yeah, you're right. Master, you okay? Are you okay, Master? I'm going yeah. to let you figure that out all on your own. Hint, I'm covered in blood I'm shaking, and someone who I thought was going to be my companion just up and left because I had to kill in order to protect myself, him, and my family. I'm fucking peachy. Are your, are your demons back? Are those just heartbeats, or...? Time and place. Now, it's neither of those. What is the massive stare food in the pony bus? So I'm assuming you're going to binge now, um, take one of the bodies for proper cooking. Oh, as fast as up and someone's feeling lonely. So, how do you get blood and brain matter out of that bow tie? Well, it's fresh. Scrub it with soap and water, then soak it in cola overnight. Then launder as per normal. Since this thing is enchanted, it's just scrub and dry. That seemed like a big explosion. What exactly happened just now? What happened was this. I hit the station's enchantomatic warheads with a shot from the master installed on the Type 4, and then it exploded with enough force to rip the station out of space-time. So Calarius arrived, that, but where did he go to hide out for a bit afterwards? You're not dead yet. You're the tattered guy with the bang, but not the one that ends up doing it. Yes, it takes more than that to kill me. After all, it's not the first time I've been blown up. I think I'm going to handle a few things, then figure out what to do from there. <coughs> Sorry. Now look at what you've done. You scared your companion. Master, that seemed pretty extreme. Oh, gee willikers. It's not like I was fighting for our lives and to protect my girls. I mean... They only push the one button you don't push it any farther, and then multi and the multiverse and not only can't fault me for it, but won't. Master, if there's something you're good at, it's being in control, so get control of yourself. You're scaring your new friend. Do you have any idea on what happened to Starry? How are our chances on surviving out there alone? I'm already caught. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh <clears throat> yeah. I'm already calmed down from that rage as far as how he's doing. I don't know. He disappeared off that cloud of his. They'll be fine. Well, they committed genocide, but do you know what's even better? Go back in time and kill their prehistoric ancestors. <sighs> it's too late for that. I removed the threat from that moment forward, and they're surprisingly hard to kill off. I've tried before. When you arrive at a new time do you create a new universe or do your actions directly affect the future of the universe you were in before i normally don't universe hop so i'm just directly affecting my own timeline say master you've heard of the alicorn amulet can't say i have to be honest it sounds like a fun toy or a cursed item one of those you get super magic powers that defy reason but you turn absolute batshit crazy insane type things Who's alone, the other? You or the doctor? 
I've seen the doctor's companion stick with him after he does something far worse than I have ever contemplated attempting. What do you think? Oh, I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> Have you ever thought about how the doctor was able to inspire such low to, from his companions, even when he has committed far worse atrocities in front of them? He hasn't fooled, honestly, believing he's the good guy, but he's honest and caring. I've seen the doctor at his best and his worst. I've been there when he was a hero and was there when he wasn't. He abandoned his family, his home, his friends. He made his wife take the fall for him, and in doing so, she was punished harshly. His children were cast to the solar winds, and his granddaughter paid the ultimate price for his hubris. Well, you really have become a monster, no matter how good or bad you are. We also come to the monsters that hide beneath. You and the doctor truly have fallen. Me? I'm a monster because I reacted to someone threatening to kill my girls, take their DNA, and then use them as tools to conquer and wage war across the universe I've secured and made safe so that stupid little peace-loving ponies like you could eventually go out and explore freely without worrying about gene-stealers, bigots with more firepower than brains, a corrupt collection of ineptitude, and a species of uh, that survives by seeking out life to convert into machines. Tell me again how much of a monster I am, and how much I've fallen from grace. Do you hear the drums frequently, or are the beats gone for the moment? That feeling that rose inside you, the rage that drove you to victory, that was vicious. Did you hear the drums again? Or was it all on your own? Or were you in control? Or were you the master of yourself? Not often, and it's none of your Business. When you destroyed the, the pony golf, right, you said a few escaped and they were not worth chasing down. How could you know? What if you're wrong? You thought you destroyed the Centaurans as well, and yet they were... Who else did you miss, Master? Any others you should have run down and you had the chance? Nope. Done. Never again. You've been... Quite for a long time, Master. What hath befallen you? Where have you gone? Sleeping again. I wonder what memories you will revisit this time. Are we ever going to hear the end of the story about the fairies? The fae approached me like I was one of their own. A fae of time. It was almost comical how close to the truth they were. They led me into the tree at the center of the hive, I believe, and I met their queen. I have no words in any language I could speak to describe Titania. Never in all of my lives have I come across a creature of such beauty, grace, and overwhelming power. A hundred years did I remain with the Fae. And the more time I spent with them, the closer, to tia, uh, the closer to tia, Titania and I became. I was addicted to her laughter, and she wanted to hear all the stories I had of the multitudes of worlds, races, and adventures that led me to finding their grove. When I wasn't with the queen sharing her company, her feast tables or her bedchambers, I was in their libraries, learning what I could of the natural world. Eventually, this would lead me to discovering that the fairies weren't the only creatures of legend that was near this place. The Fae had in their possession a very powerful magic source, the Heart of Creation, which piqued my interest. Well, the Fae survived off the good-natured acts of kindness and their harmless pranks which fueled goodwill towards the mortals they played with. They expanded their numbers by collecting enough feelings of goodwill and eventually regurgitating a fey egg. The egg would then hatch into four distinct-looking fey, depending on the season they hatched. Winter fey look wispy and have pale coats, and are usually homebodies and caretakers of the grove. Some of fey are vivid, lively green colors and have fiery personalities. Spring fae are good with plants and animals, and develop manes and coats resembling flowers. 
Buffet of the autumn season are the most colorful and most cheerful. <clears throat> now that you've learned about the fairies, I can start diving into the second half of the story. The fairies were in constant state of war with their mortal en enemies, the Habs, a swamp and sea dwelling corrupt creature of evil beyond measure. These potent necromancers and curse wielding spellcasters blew a prey into the swamp and then skinned them alive. Donning their new skin, they would make their way into town and mate, adding their number adding to their numbers and killing the one they mated with. They were the antithesis of the fairies in every way, spreading death and destruction while the fairies counteracted it with the power of their queen and her pure heart. I captured one alive and, through coercion, forced it to reveal to me the source of dark magic, the Lieber Thoth. My obsession with the artifacts grew. I felt drawn, literally, finding them. My curiosity wouldn't let me stop. So, with the cover of darkness, a few well-placed technological devices, and no small amount of luck, I snuck into the hand's swampy lair and stole their unholy book. I read the book cover to cover multiple times. Potions, curses, dark spells, things that even I began to realize had gone far and above beyond what even I was willing to stoop down into order to firm my foothold on the universe. I took it to Titania and had her banish it. What I didn't know was what would come next. <clears throat> what I didn't know was that I would bring the swamp hags down on the Fey Grove, like the spirits of hell. I didn't know that I would cause the deaths of countless Fey and hag, and to top it all off, I didn't know the heart of creation was literally a heart. Titania, in a final act of desperation, showed how much she, love she truly had and revealed her heart to the world, purging the tainted hags on the spot, incinerating them to blackened soot, with the perfect opportunity to satiate the other side of my obsessive curiosity. <clears throat> I, without thinking, sank a blade into her flesh and cut her heart free. And now holding both the heart of creation and the Lieber thought, I watched as Tad... Uh, Titania began to change. Her form twisted before my eyes, rotting and shifting like a mass as her fur fell out in patches and a blackened shit grew in its place. Her beauty stayed intact as she began ra radiating lust in the feet. With a pain and energy drained fresh, from her, uh, fresh on her mind, she reached out and began feeding. The forest itself seemed to wilt as she sucked and sucked magic and their life energies, the animals, and even her former subjects into her. Eventually, she began vomiting up egg after egg, breeding the first generation of her changeling army, mindless drones to serve their queen. She was bound to her heart, and as such bound to me, Titania was no more lost forever and replaced with chrysalis a name she spoke after the transformation i spoke her new name and found her will to mine with the heart and hoof i took off to my lab intent on studying the thing until i understood exactly what it was i held in it i saw the power of creation and ruin an artificial cape uh, an artifact capable of changing nature itself control animals, and, in the wrong hands, cover the entire world in an age of ice. In fact, while I was studying the thing, I didn't notice that, without the heart, Equestria itself was slowly becoming a frigid place. The forest freezing over, the earth ponies into the unicorn, pushed the earth ponies into the unicorn lands, and thus began the arguments. Wars came and went, and eventually the strife attracted the Windigos. When my experiments failed, I left the heart in the north, and the ponies that gathered around it began to show crystal coats. 
So they built an empire around it and fueled the artifact with their love. And it provided enough control to shield them from the cold and give them fertile lands to bear fruit. So it seems I accidentally created the Crystal Ponies, the Crystal Empire. Equestria, as we know, it brought the Wendigos, King Sombra, in the same move that created Chrysalis. It stole in the heart of the Fairy Queen twice and single-handedly destroyed the lives of many creatures, all because of my thirst for knowledge. Damn. In the page. I kind of like that history of Chrysalis. <sighs> and it's an interesting tie to, like, everything together. And do you know what could have saved Chrysalis? Subscribing to the channel, so you should do the same. Uh... <laughs>